Hey guys, this is Dave. This is Mike. And we're, we're the Game and Watch Bros. Bros. Hey guys. Welcome back, guys. So today we're doing some more God of War playthrough. Now with less nipple of war. Less is more. I don't know where that came from, kids. But uh, yeah, we're going to kill some wolves here. Uh, apparently kill uh, Kratos' son, too. You totally saw that, right? Yeah. Where he just buried his axe into his son. But BAM! Calling CPS. Ancient Norse CPS. Right. I wonder if they had... Ooh, you almost hit your kid again. Yeah, let's throw an axe that our son's on. BAM! You just got blown. You got blown. I wish. I'm married. That shit doesn't happen anymore. Anyways, so yeah, um, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more of a story that we had started uh, earlier in the, uh, well, I guess it was last week, because uh, today is Monday. Uh, we had started, I believe, last... Would have been the week before last. Thursday. No, it was last Thursday. We started the story of uh, our arch nemesis. Ah, that story. That story. Damn you, GameStop! No, I already told the uh, the story about uh, the Sopranos. I already finished that story like last week, two weeks ago. That was good days gone, though. I don't know. Come on, guys! If you haven't finished hearing the story of the Sopranos, you should. You're missing an episode of Dave's Gone. Yeah, we don't want it to cut off like the. Just kidding, we're still here. We're still here, guys. Um, but no, I just got uh, uh, turned on. Not turned on. <laughs> oh, phrasing. But uh, turned on to another YouTuber uh, by the name of Camelot331. Uh, the guy used to work for YouTube. Or not YouTube. Sorry, YouTube. We love you. Uh, used to work for GameStop. Damn you, GameStop. And it's just this, the, the shady shit he tells us that has gone on with uh, GameStop is... And not just us directly. We haven't actually spoken with him. Shout out to Camelot. You want to, you know, hook up with the Game & Watch bros? Wow, there's a lot of phrasing in this. This sentence here. Dropping the phrasing. Right. If you want to, uh, you know, chat with us. And uh, let us know more. You want to come I, play with the Game & Watch bros. Right, come play with us. Um, I'm completely turned off of GameStop. Wow, I just cannot stop myself today. I swear, folks, this is not on purpose. This is not a ploy. I'm not joking around. I'm trying to be 100% serious. I will not shop. We will not shop at GameStop anymore. We will not. Go flaccid in the face of GameStop. We will stay hard in our battle against GameStops. We will stand erect to prove our strength. We will not smash our faces into the bosom of GameStop. And we will not go quietly into the night. We will scream as we come into floor... Something, I don't know. Okay, it's Sexual ruined. in your window. It's ruined. Thanks, Mike. You fucked it up. Punch him in his own face, Kratos. Be like, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? All seriousness, folks. Okay? All joking aside, we are legitimately swearing off GameStop. Um, just some of the shady shit that they are doing to their employees... Some of the shady shit that they have done to customers. I personally have seen some of these practices being done from the outside. I have seen uh, customers get ripped off by GameStop. Come at me, GameStop. You can't get me fired. No siree. Yeah, I've always known GameStop was kind of on the shady side. Yeah, but what company is it? Let's be honest, all right? For those listeners who are like, oh, well, you know, it's a it's a big company. Of course they're going to be shady. No, no. 
No company, I have never worked for a company, and I've worked for some shady companies. Have I ever worked for a company that will tell you to rip off the customer? Oh, yeah. To specifically find... Oh. Dead. Mike, your turn. Um, but to, to specifically find elderly customers and Hispanic customers that don't speak English very well and just rip them off. All right. That's ageist and a racist. You know, not okay. I'm pretty sure there's no document out there saying, hey, welcome to GameStop. This is what you get to do now the rest of your career with us. I'm sure there's nothing like that. I'm sure there's no one higher up being like, hey, this is how you're going to do it. But I am sure that GameStop's mission statement you know, it's something to do with, well, we, we need to hardcore... The dude just threw a dude at you. <laughs> right? Uh, that hardcore states, we need to do this, and we need to push this, and we need to push that. Every company gets that. I completely understand that. Every company does that. Hey, you know, the fish are about to turn. Push it. That's a waiter term. Or waitress. Let's not be gender specific. That is a wait person term. Meaning the fish is about to expire, push it onto customers so we don't lose as much money when we have to trash a bunch of fish. All companies do it. I get that. But when you've got managers yelling at, at employees because they didn't rip off customers, that's where I draw the line. I used to be an avid, avid customer of GameStop. I used to love uh, the fact that you could buy used games from them. And I understood that when things started going digital, GameStop's mission statement of you know, selling used games was going to have to come to an end because you can't trade in a digital copy of a game. Hence, why all the game systems are going digital. And they're stepping away from physical copies. I get that. Okay? They lose money off of used copies because they don't make money off of that. Absolutely. That's why GameStop was doing so well before digital. Because they legitimately could take a game, resell it for $30, $40, and that money had to go nowhere. And all they paid was $5 for that game. If that. If that. You know, it, it was a great mission. It was a great, you know, thing. Great idea. Great way to save money. And then when... You know, companies started stepping away from physical copies into digital. You couldn't continue that. So you guys changed it up to sell game merchandise. That's cool. You know, Think Geek, I think, is the only other company that did that. Sold uh, video game merchandise. Yeah. And then you guys purchased Think Geek. Fantastic idea. But when you guys knew that you were getting to the end of your... You know, the end of your mission, the end of being able to sell uh, used copies of games because there weren't any used copies being sold. So you decided, hey, let's start ripping people off with, you know, selling people uh, the the pro card. Uh, what was it? The, the GameStop... Uh Power up, rewards. power power up rewards card. Thank you, the GameStop power up rewards card. Uh, when you tried sneaking that into customers, I've seen it done. You know, I, I went in with a buddy of mine about two or three years ago, and watched them do it to a gentleman that that was speaking Spanish. I kid you not, the the employee was talking to this customer in Spanish. And I had no clue what they were saying. It was Spanish. And then in the middle of speaking Spanish, they changed over to English saying, hey, do you want this Power Up Rewards card? It's such and such. It does this, this, and this. You want this. See? And then start speaking in Spanish again. And then said, see? See? Shaking his head. Customer had no idea what it was. But because the employee was shaking his head and saying yes... The customer is like, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. And that's just shady to me. You don't do that. 
you don't take advantage of your customers like that. Nope. And when you build an empire on top of that shadiness, that's not cool with me. So with that being said, I am firmly boycotting. Standing right now, boycotting GameStop. He's standing erect against GameStop. <laughs> Brought it back. I am definitely boycotting GameStop in all seriousness. Anyone that listens to my videos should definitely boycott GameStop as well. I think that GameStop should not be doing this stuff. And sure, sure, we should be like, hey, let's boycott them until they change their ways. But I'm sorry, but when one of your employees speaks out against this and you get him fired... And then you think that another one of your employees is feeding him information, so you fire them as well? There is no redeeming yourself from that. No. Nope. People who work 11 years for you, 8 years for you, breaking their back, making sure your company is profitable, because without these managers who push kids who just want to work with video games into doing more than just working with video games, such as selling things like your reward card and convincing people to buy other things other than video games legitimately, and then you fire them because of time card fraud that wasn't even their fault. It was because you didn't make things clear on how things should be done. You're just trying to get rid of employees. Or you're just trying to get rid of the, the rat. I can't support you. That's right. So, I'm getting to the end of my rant here. I think we will call this video here shortly. But, uh, if if you care at all about what I'm talking about, if you want an inside man's perspective, check out Camelot331. Shout out to you, man. Definitely. I highly doubt you will ever know that I'm supporting you in my video, supporting your cause to, to boycott GameStop. But, man, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that they did what they did to you. I'm sorry that they continue to do to you what they're continuing to do to you. And I'm sorry that they're <laughs> getting rid of good employees just because they're trying to get rid of, you know, whoever's feeding you information. Right. I think you should keep it up with your videos. And uh, you definitely, you've got the Game & Watch Brothers support. Definitely. GameStop, you lost two avid gamers. And if we have anything to do with it, you'll lose more than that. But with that being said, I do want to thank you for listening to my rant. I want to thank you for your continued support of the Game & Watch Brothers. We will bring you uh, some unboxings and more gameplay. And, uh, you know, as I get more information from Camelot regarding more stories, we'll bring that to you too. But thanks for playing with us. Bye guys. Thanks for hanging with the Game of Watch Bros. And if you like what you saw, hit like, subscribe, that little bell, and if you have a comment, leave it below.